Welcome to World in Two Minutes. These are your headlines. Military spokesman Colonel Gilles Jaron has said a new series of airstrikes on the Syrian city of Raqqa have destroyed a command post and training camp belonging to Daesh. Defence Minister Jean-Yves Le Drian said France invoked the European Union's Mutual Assistance Clause. He said all 28 member states accepted the formal request France made for military and other types of aid. Meanwhile, French Interior Minister Bernard Cazeneuve has said that the police carried out more than 100 anti-terror raids across the country on Tuesday. That's in addition to more than 160 raids on Monday. US Secretary of State John Kerry and French President Francois Hollande met in Paris on Tuesday and discussed the fight against Daesh. Hollande has declared a three-month state of emergency following the Paris attacks, which killed 129 people. Daesh has claimed responsibility for the attacks. The head of Russia's FSB security service said that the Russian passenger plane that crashed over the Sinai Peninsula in Egypt on October the 31st was downed by a bomb. Alexander Bortnikov spoke at a meeting chaired by Russian President Vladimir Putin and said that the crash was a result of a terrorist act. Putin has called for assistance from foreign partners in finding and punishing the criminals. Marriott International has agreed to buy its rivals Starwood Hotels and Resorts for $12.2 billion. The deal would bring together 30 brands and create the largest hotel company in the world, with more than 5,500 properties and 1.1 million rooms. The stock and cash deal is expected to go through in the middle of 2016. The World Meteorological Organization says this year's El Nino weather pattern could be the worst in more than 15 years. The UN Weather Agency says it's already causing severe droughts and flooding. Because El Nino causes dry conditions, it can spark forest fires like it did in Indonesia. WMO linked this year's El Nino to the very active tropical cyclone season in the Pacific and warned that it would increase famine in some parts of Africa as well as cause flooding in other parts. Experts say it's not climate change that triggers weather patterns like El Nino, but believe that global warming affects their frequency and intensity. Thanks for watching TRTWorld.com, Istanbul.